My name is Laura Gibson. I'm the engineer intern in the lab. What I do here is make sure that all of the materials that we put on our roadway are of good quality. I currently supervise other engineers in traffic, technicians. I supervise our sign crew, the signal crews, the stripers. Anything that has to do with traffic, I have something to do with. I'm the section head for the bridge design section and basically I'm responsible for all bridge design related activities here. I'm an engineer three. I work for a gang 224 and in Shreveport. I am in charge of uh, assisting the project engineer in all the management of the personnel in the, in the project. The traffic engineers we study, uh, we do a lot of corridor studies, we do a lot of roundabout studies, safety analysis studies. Basically where we take um, the data collection that they're getting from the roadways, like the traffic volumes and things like that, and we try to figure out what's the problem, what's the issue going on with the corridor, and we try to fix that problem basically with whatever type of uh, safety measures or any type of other measures that we can find to um, that will alleviate whatever issue that we discover is going on with the cup door. My name is Kaylin Parton and I'm an engineer in our design and water resources section. A lot of what I do tends to be hydraulic and water resources based, although I do help um, with some of our overlay plans, you know, different preservation plans. I deliver projects, do um, bridge design of new bridges on new routes, and we also do um, widening a lot of existing bridges like I-10, I-12. We have several projects ongoing right now. And we also um, re replace those old bridges that are not safe anymore. I always believe that um, the engineering is in every aspect, every significant aspect of, of our society. I thought about becoming an engineer uh, since very young. I was always curious about math and science. Every time I would tell somebody, uh, you know, oh yeah, I want to go for a math degree, I like to teach math, you know, just do s some different things in math, I would consistently get the question, why don't you just do engineering? <laughs> All I wanted to do was math. Um, when I got in high school again, um, the only subject I liked was math, so it made sense. I was either going to be an architect or an engineer. I always wanted to be an engineer, but I don't know what kind of engineer. So actually, I started as a mechanical engineer in college. And after I finished that, I worked as a mechanical engineer for uh, four years. But I got an opportunity to come to this country. Um, and I always wanted to do bridges. So I went to Purdue. Um, and I started uh, in civil engineering. I had an aha moment back in 2005. Um, I was evacuated to Jackson, Mississippi, and I saw on the news where the twin span on I-10 had fallen, or parts of it had fallen, and I thought to myself, there's got to be a better way to do this, and so that kind of just drove me to go back to school to be an engineer. Actually, I've always been interested in traffic engineering when I was in college. Um, I received the Eisenhower Scholarship, so I was always interested in it um, from the class. So it's always been something that was more realistic to me, something that I can visually see and that I can apply. So it, it just worked for me. Engineering and its profession has tons of challenges. You, know, our, I mean, our job is essentially to be problem solvers on a daily basis. So um, there's there's lots of learning. There's lots of challenges. You know, every day that come up with that. At the beginning of uh, your career as a um, female civil engineer, you will realize quickly that in a meeting room, you might be the only one or one of the few. There's still that stereotype. You know, you ask somebody to picture an engineer and they picture a man. I do work with a great team of coworkers and uh, colleagues and I've, and I've never come across a challenge that anybody hasn't been willing to help with. I find that the people I work with are real accepting of the, you know, th there are female engineers and you know, they accept us in our job field. You know, you can marry, having kids, and also just starting your career as an engineer. It's challenging, it's demanding job. It takes a little practice, but uh, gradually you find that balance. That's pretty challenging. And also on top of that, really you need to give some time to yourself. If you are really curious about math and science, just be committed to it. I think we need female engineers in the field. It, you know, we offer another perspective on things. I mean, I love my job. I wouldn't want to do anything else. My biggest advice would be to just work hard. Um, honestly, there there could be per, you know perceived challenges of because it is a male-dominated field. Um, you know, there could be some intimidation that comes with that. But honestly, you know, just because we have female versus male 
doesn't mean anybody works harder than anybody else. I, I love it. It's something that I can see where what we do every day, actually, I see that be implemented every day. So it, it makes sense to me, it clicks for me. I would tell all those young women out there to do it, go for it. It's worth it. Um, it's a little difficult, but you can do it if that's really what you want to do. It's, it's, it's a dynamic field. It's always changing, so you're always going to be learning. And start, start by being curious.